New Jersey has always been home to different species of ticks, five to be exact, but a new variety of the blood-sucking bug is now in the mix. It's the East Asian tick, sometimes called a longhorn or bush tick. Originally found in Asia, thousands of them are now in the Garden State. Their discovery started with a call. A phone call uh, from a resident in Hunter County that her sheep was infested with a lot of ticks. And so she brought some in, uh, and lo and behold, she was also covered in the same tick. It was kind of an odd-looking thing. She didn't know what it was. She had never seen them before. James O.C. is a research microbiologist. He also works with entomologists at Rutgers University who tested the ticks. He says steps were taken to kill them, but just a few days ago, he used carbon dioxide traps and found that a number of the pests survived. That's a problem because like the deer ticks that spread Lyme disease, East Asian ticks have been known to spread a deadly virus called SFTS. But it has the potential. That's why we're worried. Residents we spoke to say it's alarming to think they have something new to worry about when they head outdoors. There's enough things you have to worry about, so hearing about new things that could potentially jeopardize the health of your home is always, you know, something to be concerned about. My biggest concern would be that my dog would bring it home and somehow my son would get it. More work has to be done to try to keep these out and find ways when they are introduced to find natural predators to eliminate them. Scientists will treat the affected farm with pesticide this week in hopes of eliminating the exotic pests. How the ticks made it to New Jersey in the first place is still a mystery. Elise Finch, CBS 2 News. Tests on the ticks found in November did not reveal any tick-borne diseases. The ticks collected a few days ago are being tested right now.